Zauberwerk, now four months old, has completed the puppy training program at Zauberwerk. Going to the play sport, pretty good, or the Kong bad, I should say, over a very nice distance there, and is staying because he can only leave if he is in fact released. So the trainer does all kinds of different things to not let the dog figure out when he's going to be called or when he's going to be released. Because if you put anything reliable before you release or before you call, the dog might as well take that piece of information and release himself or come to the trainer. That's why we stop, we walk around, we face the back toward the dog, we walk backwards. There's nothing that the dog can tell when he's going to be released or called. In between he gets a click and reinforcement to show him that he is doing alright. Here he can't even believe the free command. Nothing wrong with that. So here he finds out that if he wants to do the behavior on his own without a cue, it's not worthwhile doing. Nothing positive is going to come to him. willingly and stays in there even though the gate is open. Very similar to the doggy bed but it's a different object. We always want to make sure that the dog is not rambunctious in the crate, that he is calm and that he feels comfortable being in the crate. <laughs> Gate opens and the dog's not supposed to come out until he's actually released or called. So the dog tried to do the behavior on its own, he was already thinking about it. In response he got called, so that was an alternate behavior to what he wanted to do on his own. And then he had to sit, and then he had to go on the bed when he was asked to do so. Here a little more distraction, running, moving fast. That's an amazing training that the dog can withstand that kind of attraction by the handler. Now he has to stay in a sit without a target, such as the bed, waits for his release, 
recall turns on the dime. Down. Doing it down, perfect. No help, no manipulation. Three. Total signal control by what he's told. Thank you.